Today, America boasts 28 million home-based businesses, up from 14.9 million in 1988. These businesses generate $382.5 billion a year, creating an estimated 8,219 new jobs and entrepreneurial positions each day. This same phenomenon seems to be happening around the world. Hardly a new idea, this form of doing business was once called the cottage industry. That was derived from an old European term that describes work done at home. The best-known cottage industries flourished in the Swiss Alps, where mountain folk, isolated by snow and ice, made parts for the world-famous Swiss clocks and watches. More recently, cottage industry has become synonymous with home business, worksteading, or working from home. Needless to say, home-based businesses come full cycle. Before the Industrial Revolution, most people worked around their own homes, farming and doing trades. The Industrial Revolution, however, brought people to the cities in search of a better life. Today, there's a counter-revolution. Children and grandchildren of those who sought employment in factories are not only questioning the value of working away from home, but are actually leaving those workplaces to start home-based businesses. How big will this groundswell become? Are you sitting down? According to a study done by AT&T, at least 50% of our entire nation's population will be working at home by the turn of the century. We are undoubtedly forging a new business frontier. Frankly, many who are building home-based businesses are people who simply want to take control of their lives. Thus far, we've talked about five of the six hottest distribution trends in the North American marketplace, which are laying the foundation for the future of our economy. And these lead to the sixth great distribution trend. In fact, this one is probably the hottest trend of all. It's called interactive distribution, largely because this pattern involves many media advantages. Much of this occurs as a result of referral-based marketing methods through a large distribution-based network. Why is this powerful concept so crucial to the marketplace? According to Success Magazine, interactive distribution is the most powerful way to reach consumers in the 1990s. What does this mean? For starters, it offers a chance for you to own your own business. Frankly, the world of traditional retailing is quickly being revolutionized. As mentioned before, many experts say that 50% of all retail businesses will be gone by the year 2000. And even if you wanted to get involved in a retail operation, you would need a huge capital investment, plus tremendous experience in what you would be doing. Discount stores will be around for some time to come, but unless you are already in discounting, it's doubtful that you will be able to afford the megabuck investment which is required. Warehouse clubs continue to flourish, but the newness of the big box stores has worn off, and earnings have slid as much as 16%. At the same time, since the number of stores has grown from 15 in 1983 to 577 in 1992, many clubs overlap. Competition and lower profit margins have caused quite a bit of turbulence in this market, so much so that Pace has now gone out of business, selling most of their stores to Sam's. How about franchises? These are excellent choices, for the best franchise corporations have helped eliminate many of the startup and ownership worries which are connected with running your own business but you still have to buy your franchise. This can run from $20,000 up into the millions. The expense numbers for the other forms of distribution, including in-home and interactive shopping, and some home-based businesses, can also be staggering. Plus, in each of these, you still have to deal with many of the employee, red tape, and economic up-and-down struggles associated with retail, discount, warehouse, and franchise operations. But what if you could combine the very best aspects of retailing, discounting, warehousing, and franchising, and then blend it with the hottest distribution trends, known as in-home and interactive shopping and home-based enterprises? You can. According to an article entitled Seize the Future, published in Success Magazine, by the year 2000, every other home will be involved in some form of referral-based marketing. Home shopping, including interactive marketing, is already responsible for 27% of all retail sales in America. And home-based businesses, as mentioned previously, already do $383 billion in annual revenues. So what if you could really combine the most powerful forms of distribution and yet do it as a home-based business with little capital outlay, minimal risk, and exciting income potential?
In fact, just as I introduced you to two people, Jim Martin and Peggy Bogus, who have successfully tapped into this marketing and distribution system, let me acquaint you with another expert in this field, Daryl Roop, a former optometrist from Oklahoma. You know, somebody might think, well, a doctor is going to be able to do this thing, and uh, I'm not a doctor, and therefore, what's my chance? What's my shot? We've, we've uh, seen over the years so many different people from so many different varieties of uh, background and experiences. We know that anyone can build this business. We've got a support system, and that support system is what is so strong. That's, that's why franchise businesses succeed. It's such a high ratio. They have a teaching situation that can help them, and it's one of the dif disadvantages of a regular business. They don't have anyone that can help them show them the pattern because you're competition to them. In this business, we support you and we help you, and we see people from so many backgrounds uh, that uh, limited education, uh, limited experience, you don't, we're not looking for a management type. We're not looking for sales uh, type. We're not looking for leaders necessarily. What we're looking for is somebody that's ambitious and willing to work. And we can show you a pattern of success that if you'll get on, it's a track. And if you'll get on it and apply yourself and follow uh, the success pattern of other people, then you can succeed in this business. Doesn't matter whether you're young or old or married, black, white, doesn't matter. Educated, uneducated, none of those things are really a factor and they don't really matter. We can help you make up any deficit that you might perceive you have that would limit you from building this business. You might think of various excuses. We've heard them before. We've developed a program to deal with those. And I don't, I don't think anyone would be excluded from being able to build this business. We've seen too many successes from too, too wide a background. With Darrell Roop's words in mind, let me remind you that the number one dream of Americans is to own a business of their own. Why? Already mentioned surveys point to 70% of all graduates from the prestigious Harvard Business School and 58% of the general population who would like to start their own businesses. This desire for personal business ownership runs deeply in people throughout the world. People simply want to be free to run their own businesses. As many as 97% of all workers in America feel that they have little control over their careers, and those who decide to get into business for themselves do so to take control. Here is the point. In order to attain any degree of financial success today, people are going to be forced to get into their own business. That seems to be a hard and fast fact. The question to ask is how can you tap into the most available of these trends, interactive marketing and distribution? If every other house will have a business in it by the year 2000, and if people are going to spend several hundred dollars each month on items such as personal use consumables, food items, clothing, and home electronics equipment anyway, doesn't it make sense to profit from personal business ownership and the power of distribution? Corporate America is already discovering interactive distribution as a successful means to getting its products and services into the far reaches of the marketplace. In fact, after our corporate sponsor inked a joint venture with MCI, hundreds of companies, from very small to the most well-known on Wall Street, began approaching our corporate sponsor wanting to tap into this incredible network. After all, consumers have discovered our pattern of marketing through interactive distribution as a successful source for purchasing products and services. And entrepreneurs everywhere are realizing that referral-based marketing is the low-cost, affordable, practical ticket to financial flexibility. Now many huge companies are tapping into this concept. Sony, Sharp Electronics, Colgate Palmolive, Gillette, and Sprint are just a few. Frankly, Corporate America is waking up to the fact that people want the convenience of in-home shopping and interactivity. And how are they reacting to these successes? One of the best indications of corporate interest in the new distribution methods is the massive information and interactive media highway being formed by the merger frenzy among communication and corporate giants. All these communication giants wouldn't be locked into merger mania if they didn't realize the incredible potential of interactive media. And our system has been tapping into the best distribution trend since its infancy, over 40 years ago. So interactive media is the next logical step. Through the years, instead of trying to get people to leave their homes, we have developed a tremendous system for giving men and women exciting discounts, as well as the convenience of shopping from home. The greatest advantage, however, is that we can also give visionary people the opportunity to own their own businesses and potentially develop a lifestyle with the best economic options. What could be more exciting? After all, the greatest opportunity our system offers is that it gives people a chance to run a business from their home. 
Ours is not just a phone ordering system or catalog system, but an extensive interactive distribution system with an array of over 5,000 name brand products and services with access to more than 1,100 manufacturers, including Coca-Cola, MCI, General Motors, and Wrangler. By getting involved in interactive distribution, you can buy your own consumables at advantageous prices. You can merchandise a little or a lot. And you can potentially develop a worldwide network with other business people. Your associates, in turn, can duplicate their own businesses with their own home-based enterprises. The advantage of our system is that you can have all the advantages and opportunities of owning your own business. You can do all this with minimal risk. And you can do it while tapping into one of the fastest growing business concepts in today's world. An issue of Working World reported, because of the drastic changes in the marketplace, existing marketing and distributing methods are no longer effective. As more and more companies are forced to reduce their prices to stay competitive, the use of interactive distribution will accelerate at record levels in the 1990s. Just how big is the opportunity? Consider what is happening in corporate America. In the 1980s, we saw a lot of layoffs of blue-collar workers. In the 1990s, the layoffs have also hit white-collar workers. The names of the companies which are laying off tens of thousands of people are growing. It's happening everywhere as corporate and governmental America seeks to be lean and mean. According to a recent Gray advertising report, 72% of those surveyed feel, quote, a real sense of uncertainty about the future, end of quote, up from 63% in November 1991. The reasons given, the economy and ongoing layoffs. But all of the people who have been laid off simply cannot find jobs in their chosen industry because so many corporations are downsizing. These workers must either start a whole new career or start a new business. Those who still have jobs have not let this situation go unnoticed, for no one knows who will be next. Here's the bottom line. Lots of people are looking for an opportunity such as this, and many like you are finding it. No matter how you look at the situation, this is the big opportunity of both personal business ownership and the power of distribution. We are now reaching around the globe. Already we are in all 50 states, 44 U.S. territories, and over 28 international markets, including the hotbeds of the Pacific Rim and Europe. What makes interactive distribution and referral-based marketing so attractive is the fact that you can do business anywhere today with the electronic conveniences available to nearly everyone. With fiber optics, fax machines, computers, modems, and overnight express services, it no longer matters nearly as much where you are or where your business is located, much less where it reaches. We have the right technology. We have the right business opportunity. And the time has never been more right. This personal business ownership and distribution trend will continue to be hot for years to come. In fact, as previously mentioned, one out of every two American households is likely to get involved at the end of this decade. But the opportunity has never been more advantageous than right now. Frankly, this is an opportunity that you should check into. This is the best time yet. Why now? Our corporate sponsor has grown from a half million in 1959 to 2.2 billion in 1990 to $3.2 billion worth of business in 1991, and from 3.9 billion in 1992 to 4.5 billion during 1993. Our corporate sponsor continues to grow steadily as we spread globally. New products and services are being added every year to an already extensive lineup. So here's the question. Why join a marketing and distribution system that only offers one item or even a few dozen? Why not join one that enjoys associations with many Fortune 500 companies and one that has established a powerful, credible tradition? Whatever you do, consider the strength of referral-based marketing through interactive distribution. There are simply too many reasons not to get involved. More importantly, the time to get involved is now. Our corporate sponsor's co-founders, two of the wealthiest men in America, according to both Fortune and Forbes, have said, we're not like a franchise where you have to pay thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars to open for business. It's not like starting a conventional business where you have to be an expert in accounting, manufacturing, distribution, and business law to succeed. This marketing and distribution system can work for you. It is a proven success pattern for many, many entrepreneurs who have been willing and ready to take control. In fact, before we end this time together, 
Let's introduce two more distribution professionals. First, this is Kathy Victor, formerly a bookkeeper, now a business owner for Ohio. Well, I first have been involved in the business over two decades, or close to two decades, I should say, and my husband actually has been involved over two decades, and actually his parents have been involved over three decades. So it's just an incredible business and just keeps on changing with the times, I guess, is what's what is really great because it's not the same business today that it was when I started 18 years ago. Certainly not the same business when my husband started or his parents started. They keep up with the times. The business just keeps changing and, and uh, getting all the, the more modern ideas and adding on product lines and, and just having support for the organization and keeping up with the, with the current events and everything that's happening and, and making it better every day for the distributor. Also, here is Jim Pollan, a former financial planner from Georgia. When I was first presented this opportunity, I took a look at it, and uh, mainly because it was a good, well-trusted friend of mine that invited me to take a look. And I think perhaps it had been anybody else I might not have even have gone, although I must admit I was in the mode of looking for an opportunity, evaluating different ways to get into a franchise or try to get a business I could start or you know, create wealth through the stock market, which had been unsuccessful up to that point. And uh, I, I got really looking at where I would be in five years. You know, a lot of times I would evaluate, where will I be in five years if I keep doing the same thing I'm doing? What kind of a lifestyle will we have? Where will we be going on vacation? What kind of a car are we going to be driving? What kind of home are we going to be living in? Five years would roll by, and the only thing that changed was I had more credit and therefore more debt and uh, I couldn't see any real improvement. And suddenly I realized, I guess perhaps when I first saw this opportunity, that maybe, just maybe, possibly, this might be a way that I could improve that five-year pattern and actually get ahead in lifestyle. And so I was very analytical, and the job that I had, of course, entailed uh, analyzing companies for acquisition purposes and, and uh, corporate planning for the company that I worked with and projecting five years down the track and what have you. And, and all of a sudden, I had the opportunity to start planning for myself and, and hopefully get paid what I was worth, in my opinion, instead of my boss's opinion. So uh, that's where I was when this came, came along to me. And, you know, I, I think perhaps the, one of the most, things, the most important things that I found out is that, you know, we are in life today precisely where we want to be. Now, that's almost frightening to say, but we are there because of the choices we've made in the past. Now, the consolation of that is we can be precisely where we want to be in the future based on the choices that we make today. And, you know, the subtlety of poverty and the subtlety of wealth is that they both come in small daily pieces based on the decisions we make on a daily basis each and every, every day. And what I realized was that yesterday's a canceled check. It's gone, not to be retrieved. Tomorrow is like a promissory note. Today is like cash in our hands. What we do with that will determine where we will be tomorrow. And so when I look at all these things together, and oftentimes, you know, I was busy. I had a lot of things going on, activities, and working. Really, I was doing two jobs at that point. I was a professor at a university at night so we could make additional income. And uh, like one guy recently told me, so I don't have time to do anything else. Well, the fact of the matter is he had 168 hours a week. I've got 168 hours a week. J. Paul Getty, one of the wealthiest men to ever live, had 168 hours a week. The guy that picks up my trash has 168 hours a week. The only difference is what they do with their time. And like I told him, I said, I got news for you. You're not going to get any more time. The 168 is all you get. And uh, the question is, what are you going to do with that? And uh, the, the fact, if we can become more productive with the time we do have, that is to say, if we can increase our income with the same amount of time, or increase our income better yet with less time, we can improve our what? Our lifestyle. Where we'll be living, the kind of cars we drive, the kind of clothes we wear, and the choices that we're able to make because of the income that we have. Now, obviously, even with the help of so many marketing and distribution professionals, we have only been able to scratch the surface of today's most exciting business ownership and distribution trends. As soon as possible, get back with the person who complimented you by loaning you this cassette. By doing so, he or she believes that you may have what it takes to own and operate your own business successfully, especially this one. And what you do with it, understanding that we can't promise anything since so much depends upon the degree of interest and effort you decide to exert, is up to you. After listening to this tape, 
you are probably even more interested in the details surrounding this bold marketing concept. Ask now for the next cassette, titled Personal Business Ownership and the Power of Distribution, Part 2, for a more detailed explanation of this business, or simply get back with the person who loaned you this tape. Above all, we wish you the best as you determine how you can tap into personal business ownership and the power of distribution. This is a copyright.